Okay, guys, we are back with a quick look at Destiny for uh, the fifth week since they've brought the old raids back up to the current light level and with new challenges. So we've had a chance to have a look at all four. They've been interesting. The, um, the weapons are neat. They've come up as exotics with their energy types back for primary weapons. There have been... Um, customizable new armors with ornaments people have been quite excited the community's been getting a lot done and it's time to rotate back around to the first one which they released which is again Crota's end uh, the death singer challenge is back the Crota challenge is back the death singer challenge requiring you to kill off all of the ads in the area around your youth the death singer to bring out a sword bearer killing him Picking up the sword and killing your Ute with that sword exclusively and doing all of that within two minutes is that challenge. Crota's challenge is that no one person on the fire team can have the sword for a rotation more than once. So each once you've hit him once with the sword or once you've you know um, gone through a rotation where you bring him down, your, your sword bearer goes in, smacks him. He, he can do it a second time, not a problem. Um, but once that sword disappears, he can't be the sword bearer again. Someone else has to go and do it. That's about as easy as, as a way to explain it. If it matters to you, you probably already know how to do this. Uh, Challenge of the Elders. If you like Challenge of the Elders, it's a, a lot of fun. And this week is one of my favorite ones, what, what I like to call a grenade o'clock. It's more fun when it's catapult. But even so, uh, a well-tooled up Voidwalker or... Eh, Voidwalker is probably the best because of how fast you can regenerate your abilities. But add fresh troops means more targets to kill, really. But basically fresh meat for the grinder. Throw lots and lots of grenades. It's uh, ready to go. Uh, weekly Nightfall Strike is Solar Burn. Not too bad. Solar Burn's pretty good. It is the Fallen Saber Strike, if you don't know that one. Uh, it is on Earth. You have to first... First, you have to get the codes to Rasputin's bunker from a Fallen or, or a, um, a satellite that falls from orbit and then you have to fight your way through Rasputin's bunker to a main server room I guess is what the best way I could call it where a large modified shank called the Saber comes out and he's the boss and you have to kill him. Uh, Solar Burn actually makes it a fairly easy thing to do because most of the things you're going to fight are arc. Ironclad means more enemies than usual will have shielding so lesser enemies like sometimes dregs or in uh, in the fallen case it would be the shanks would have solar shielding um in the taken it would be the taken scions and maybe the taken acolytes sometimes will have shielding uh, in the case of the cabal it would be scions who suddenly have shields and in the case of the vex i don't remember somebody now has shields probably the Harpies. Yeah, the small harpies now have shields, I think. Uh, airborne means that you do twice as much damage to anything you hit if your feet are not on the ground. So it's really handy for those damage over time grenades. Um, throw them, paint the ground with fire or void or whatever it is, and then jump and watch the numbers double. Exposure means that your shields don't regenerate, or at least they regenerate very, very slowly, but you are a bit tougher. Your shields can take more hits. And Daybreak is the new modifier that replaces Epic, and it only appears from time to time. It appeared the first week, and now it's back again. It may be something that rotates in and out with Crota, and means kind of like Mayhem in Crucible, your abilities recharge at about triple speed. And, and I did do a little experiment, but I'll sh we'll check it out when we go in and see what the Weekly Nightfall Strike is in just a second. I'll show you. Um... The Crisis Heroic, so the Heroic Strike, which is basically the way most people get their farming done, is just to sit in this rotation and pump out as many as you can. If you want to level up um, different weapons, different pieces of armor, if you want to try and get the specific pieces of loot at a guaranteed highlight level, this is the way to do it. And uh, Heroic, of course. Arc Burn, so not just Zalo Supercell anymore. There's a few good Arc weapons. I think my Fatebringer will be making a... <laughs> A, a return a specialist of course is double damage from uh, special weapons Duh. Uh, and juggler means you're gonna have to rotate between guns in order to not run out of ammo 
Ironclad and Airborne. Uh, we just explained what those are. That's fine for the Weekly Story playlist, and you're into the Iron Lords playlist. And if you're into Crucible, this week's Treasure of Ages is available from a match of Mayhem Rumble. Mayhem Rumble is fun. It's not particularly competitive because of the triple speed at which everything regenerates, your supers and grenades and all. It's just massive cla mayhem. But it's a good time. If you go into it with a, with an attitude of this is for fun and chaos and let's just see how much crazy fun and how many supers I can throw in, in one match, then you're good to go. Uh, if you don't expect anything else, then you won't be disappointed. Let's jump into the Nightfall and take a look and see what it is. As I said, it's, it's Fallen Saber. But uh, and uh, run through what Fallen Saber does. But let's uh, while we're in there, let's see what uh, Daybreak provides. What sort of abilities it, it, it provides and how good it is. Let's have a quick look. We'll take my Void Walker. Normally, my cooldown is four minutes. So we'll see how fast that happens. And the cooldown on my grenade, let's say, is 42 seconds. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes. It's supposed to take 42 seconds. We'll see how fast. I'm not going to go and actually do the nightfall here. Uh, I don't think I can solo this one, even if I eh, maybe. And if I did, it would be as a different video. So let's see how fast. Let's throw a grenade. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, we're not in the area. This is, we still haven't entered the area where um, daybreak will become useful. This is going to take 42 seconds. So there's no bonus and you, as you can see the super's not going up very fast either so none of that will take effect until I enter the daybreak area or I enter the what would be considered the um, the restricted spawn zone so we have to head over to where the mission starts let's just go over here where the uh, uh, satellite drops from orbit that's what I was thinking can't drive and think at the same time here we go. Now we're in. Okay, yeah. Look at that super. Look at how fast that's going now. Let's throw a grenade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Literally regen in seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 42 seconds becomes seven seconds. So that's literally six times the speed. So yeah, you can get a lot done with that. Uh, let's fire off a Nova Bomb here and see how fast it starts regenerating. It's that's supposed to take four minutes. Um, so four minutes times 60 is, 400, is 240 seconds. This should take at seven times that speed. This should literally take 30 to 40 seconds. And look at that. Yeah, your super literally if you've got a max uh, cap on your intellect or tier five, your super is going to recharge at 32, 30, 33 seconds. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So yeah, this is not going to be a terribly tough nightfall for anybody. You could probably get a two man team to get through most of it. As long as you guys are reasonably intelligent at what you do. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Zer's not here till Friday. I'll take a look at what he does then. This is just a quick look at what's been on offer. I hope to see you guys out on patrol. I hope to see you getting into activities. You can always try and join our clan if you're looking to have some fun, do raids, do whatever. Um, I'm, if you get me liquored up enough, I might even do some Crucible. Uh, other than that, I have been Mighty Mr. Mustache, the mightiest mustache in the universe. You can slap a like, you can subscribe for more, you can check out and share my videos if you would be so kind, and if you enjoyed them, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. And until then, have some great gaming and have a great day.